my gorgeous people. I'm so excited today. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kiana. I do a lot of sewing fashion videos and today we are going to be kind of making my engagement party dress. When I say kind of, I mean we are going to be finalizing the design, we are going to be grabbing all the materials and fabric, and we are going to be prototyping. So basically everything from concept to construction of the prototype, just not the final dress. But you're gonna see all the fun stuff though, so like draping, pattern making, all of that jazz. I'm super excited, I have a couple designs in mind right now, I'll flash them on the screen for a second. I'm so excited. It's gonna be gorgeous. I know one thing for sure, I want to have rhinestones. I had so much fun making this pink dress with the rhinestone straps and rhinestone around the bust that I kind of wanted to do a similar thing for this dress, but way better. So I already ordered the rhinestones. I also ordered a mini petticoat to put underneath. I'm so excited to get the rhinestones. They're coming tomorrow, I think. You're gonna love. And also if you wanna get the rhinestones, my petticoat, or any of the supplies and materials basically that I'm going to be using throughout this entire video, I'm going to compile that into one list and link that down below. And I will be using the Chrome extension Share Cart to be able to do this for you guys. Which brings me to today's sponsor, Share Cart. So thank you so much to Share Cart for sponsoring today's video. So Share Cart is a free Chrome extension that allows you to share your online shopping list from hundreds hundreds of major retailers and small businesses with one link. Share a cart simplifies shopping for anyone who wants to share their car on sites that might not have a wish list function or even ones that do as well, considering it just lets you put all of the items in your cart with one click. It's really great for creators like me who are always sharing like recommendations, sewing and crafting supplies because it means we don't need to share dozens of links with our viewers. But I have also found it useful for other things. For example, my engagement party, it's coming up. By the time you're watching it, it's probably going to be in a few days. I just put all the decorations that I want to buy into my shopping cart and then use share a cart to just send that one link over to my mom so that she can buy those decorations for my engagement party. Thanks mom. <laughs> I love this tool and if you're someone who constantly finds yourself sending people all the things in your cart, whether as recommendations or because you have to collaborate your shopping all the time, it is definitely going to save you some time. Anyways, I will have my one link to basically everything that I use in this video down below thanks to ShareCart. So go and check it out, go click that link, see how easy it is. Anyways, thank you so much again to ShareCart for sponsoring today's video. Now, let me show you my designs. Okay, so. Let me show you the first design I came up with. Boom, cute, right? Mm, wrong, just, just kidding. The vibe of this party is backyard barbecue and you might be like, mm, that looks a little dressy. You're correct, I will be dressed up. Everyone else will be casual, I will not be, duh. This though, this like silky chic little number seems off base and it seems a little old for me, you know? You know? I'm 23, I'm young, I wanna be cutesy, I wanna be fun. I altered this very slightly to get this, boom. Cute. Tell me this isn't freaking adorable. Remember what I was talking about with the rhinestones on this pink dress over here? Yeah, so this like, these little iridescent light things are rhinestones. I wanna do rhinestone straps under the bust. I wanna do a fit and flare design to make it a little fun and flirty and young. I wanna look back on this dress in many years and be like, oh, how cute was I? How cute was I? I was such a kid in that fun little dress, that fun little number. Love the gathering, love the tear on the skirt. I feel like it makes it young, but I feel like the rhinestones on top make it flashy, which I love. I feel like the cut is a little bit more sexy. The other dress was just like, ugh. So I think this is what we're going to do. I'm excited to pattern the top because I'm gonna have a seam right over the bust and under the bust as well. So you guys are gonna see me drape that on old Missy over here. I don't know what fabric I want to use. So first, let's go run and grab a fabric so that we can have it on hand so that we can start sewing it soon. Okay, it's really tempting to wanna grab something like this or something like this over here because these are just freaking gorgeous. Also, look at this one over here. Imagine this in that silhouette that you guys saw earlier gathered up. That would be so cute. I'm getting really tempted. Look at these sequins. If I didn't have rhinestones in the dress, then I would totally buy this because imagine how this will photograph with flash. But I'm going to stick to my design. That was the whole point of why I designed in the first place. So either I'm gonna get 
a crepe back satin or this regular satin. Okay, I think I figured it out. I have them lined up right here. So let's talk through them. Okay, so first off we have this crepe here, which I think would sew really well for the silhouette. I think it would work, but I just don't think it has like that wow factor. It looks kind of inexpensive. So this is a no. Next we have two of the same fabric. It's their crepe back satin. This is the ivory color. I actually don't think it's the ivory color. I think it's on the wrong bolt. I think this is the snow color. And then this is the white color, which you guys know I love this fabric. I use it all the time. It just sews super well and it's super, super shiny. It gives a big punch. So if I were to choose this, I'd have to pick between the off-white and the white. But I think I like the white better because why not go big or go home? And then lastly is this stretch satin, which I've used for my graduation dress before. And I really liked this. I think it sewed really well. Um, I just don't think I want a stretch fabric for this because of all the weight that's going to be in the skirt from the gathers. I don't think it's gonna work as well. Could kind of distort the skirt. So I think I'm gonna go with this. And there's a lot of it, so I can get a bunch. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm taping out my style lines and you guys know I like to use washi tape instead of draping tape for this. Um, make sure when you're taping out your style lines, you really, really put some thought into it because once you do that, that's gonna set the tone for the whole design. And this is me also just testing things out with rhinestones I already had. These are smaller than the actual rhinestones I'm using just to make sure I like how everything's sitting before I finalize my seam lines or my what's it called style lines yes i just made some edits to it before going into draping and i never show you guys like the full drape i usually just show you guys one or two pieces so i decided to speed everything up to 20 times speed so you could fully see me draping all of the pieces but the process for each piece is exactly the same i'm just smoothing it out on the form it meaning the muslin fabric I'm smoothing, 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 <laughs> smoothing the muslin fabric out on the form, pinning it, and then marking it with a pencil. And I'm pinning all of the pieces together as I go, just to make sure that everything is fitting together nicely and I don't need to make any adjustments. And if I need to make any adjustments, I do that. So just enjoy me finishing up this drape. <laughs> Okay, hello, took a shower break. So this is the final drape. I'm not going to drape the skirt. I'm going to flat pattern that. If you wanted to drape the skirt, you could, but because I'm gathering it and it's not fitted, like it's just easy if I just flat pattern it. I'll show you how I do that too. She's looking pretty good. It doesn't completely line up in the back. This is kind of over too far to the left, so um, it doesn't need to reach this. I know that I need to extend this a little bit to make it fit around the waist. That's why we pin things up together because when you pin things up together, it kind of mimics that you're sewing the garment. So you can like cut it on the forearm and see how it's going to fit when it's sewn, if you sew it well. <laughs> to test your drape to see if it's going to lay on the body nice, you wanna use minimal pins when placing it back on the forearm. So I have one pin, two pins, three pins, four, five. I don't need, I don't need that though. Um, I don't even need this really. So three pins, maybe I can get it down to two, hold on. Yeah, this whole thing is held up with one pin in the back and one pin in the front and see how it just drapes over the body perfectly. That means it's gonna drape over your body perfectly. So it's a good way to test it. Even look, watch this. No pins, look at that. Zero pins. Perfection. I'm going to digitally pattern this in case I decide to make a pattern for sale after this. So also let me know if you would like a pattern of this that you can buy if you don't wanna drape. All right, I just did this whole explanation, this whole in-depth pattern explanation and I was not recording. So that's great, take two. All right, so I finished patterning and I am back in Illustrator. So let me show you guys what I got going on. So up here is the bodice. I just traced out the pattern pieces that we just made from draping. Um, so this is the front over here and this is the back. 
Now we have a skirt right here. This is not the skirt that we will be using. I just wanna show you guys the pattern making process so you can understand how to pattern something yourself. Um, and I need you guys to understand like the logic behind everything. So look at the skirt. Imagine in your head what shape that skirt would create. This is the pattern that I took it from. So the cowl neck prom dress, I took the mini skirt from it. It creates kind of this little slightly flared skirt. Now I don't want a fit and flare skirt. That'd be really cute though with this design, but I wanna pack a bigger punch. I'm trying to be extravagant here. So I recommend starting from like a flared skirt. You can also start from a basic skirt block, but it's a little bit easier to conceptualize if you start from a flared skirt. So now over here, here is the final skirt and I'm gonna put these skirt, oh no. And I'm gonna put this right over top of the flared skirt so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. Basically what I did is I just doubled the width of the waistline and I flared it a little bit more. You gotta decide how much of a gathering ratio you want. Um, it can be anywhere from like 1.25 all the way to four, depending on what fabric you're using. I am using a medium weight satin fabric, so two will probably be more than enough. So now I'm just cutting out my prototype, and if you're wondering why my fabric is such a weird shape, it's because it's from an old prototype. I try to save my prototypes so that I can reuse them and use less waste, and this is from my bias cut midi skirt, so that's why it's shaped like this. But I am also planning on using all of my scraps for a project. I'm trying to become more like zero waste. I am not currently zero waste, but I'm trying to be, so I have a really exciting project in mind that um, I don't have enough scraps yet for, but we'll have soon-ish in the future. All right, here are all our pattern pieces. Just cut out the bodice. Also, I've been loving this pattern weight recently, you guys. Obsessed, I love using it for like bigger patterns, like for the bodice, not really. Although you could have used it for this one, but like for big patterns using this, awesome. It'll be in my link down below. Here are my other pattern pieces. These are the tiers at the bottom. They're just rectangles. And then here are my straps. Here we are in front of my sewing machine. I am going to start sewing the prototype. I'm not gonna use a... Mow the lawn louder, why don't you? It is currently... I'm gonna watch this YouTube video while I do this on Gel X nails. It's currently 2.23. We'll see how long this takes me. Let's go. So I really thought I could whip this out in an hour and that just did not happen. I'm sewing the bodice, the bust area, and the straps now, but as you will see in a second, I ran into a problem. I just, I had false confidence in myself, okay? <laughs> <sighs> All right, we hit a little bit of a roadblock, a little bump in the road. Um, I could not sew the bust onto the rest of the bodice because this curve on the bust, there was just too much fabric. I couldn't ease it in. So I'm revising the pattern. I'm gonna rip this up because I can salvage the rest of this. I'm just gonna replace this piece right here. So let's go do that. As you can see, I'm very excited now because I repatterned and it fit perfectly. Look at that gorgeousness. Then the very tedious part, which is gathering the skirts and then sewing it on. Not as tedious though as gathering the second tier because this one has less fabric. But again, guess what? Ran into another problem. False confidence, you guys. Okay, so I've made another error. Today is the day of errors. I'll be honest, did I sleep last night? No, not really. So, um, making a lot of mistakes, but that's why we make a prototype so that we can do better later on. I sewed the, s <laughs> the skirts to the wrong bodice pieces. I put the front skirt on the back and the back skirt on the front, which is not great because the back is skinnier and the front is wider because that's how your body is. So that means it's gonna be less gathered now on the front and it's gonna be more gathered now in the back, which could be a blessing because then we get to decide if we want more gathers or less gathers, so. But honestly, I think um, right in between would have been perfect, which is what I patterned, so. Good thing it's a prototype. And then the last part is the second tier of the skirt. And this really took a long time. Well, not really, but to gather all that up, all that, it's just so tedious. Okay, do you guys wanna see the dress? <laughs> First prototype, there will be more. There will be another prototype for sure because there are a few things I'd like to change. So let's talk about them. But actually first, let's just take it in because for our first prototype, 
Literally, how freaking gorgeous. My goodness, look at it, and you can twirl. Let's talk about what I would change. The straps are a little long. That's probably my fault because I measured what the straps should be and I thought they were too short and I made them an inch longer. Now they're an inch too long. So <laughs> I'm gonna shorten these by an inch. This line right here doesn't go directly through like the apex of my bust. I need to like lower it like half an inch. And when I do that, I also wanna lower this center part half an inch. Usually I put things on the left side, the zipper's on the left side, but the left side is my good side and I don't want a zipper when I'm taking my photos right here. So I'm gonna be putting zippers on the right side from now on, I think. The gathering on the skirt on the second tier I feel like is too much. Then this, and I was just having a long, long thought about it because I was like, should I get rid of it? Because this dress is already has so much going on. But then I also feel like this dress is good because there's so much going on. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the satin, the gathers, the rhinestones. And then I feel like the low back just makes it that much better. I think we need the low back. So I'm gonna keep the low back, but the problem is, I'm not sure if I talked about this already. There's no tension holding everything together. I'm gonna have to add like a strap across the back, either with the rhinestones or just with the fabric. I'm gonna make those changes, but what do we think? You guys, the rhinestones came. Are you ready for this? How beautiful are these? Hold on, I need to put on a light because it's not doing it justice. The camera, mm -mm. does this make any difference? Do you see the sparkle? I feel like you don't really see the sparkle. Also, I could not contain myself. The rhinestones came in and I decided to get some shoes to go with it because this is gonna be, remember, it's gonna be here and I'm actually getting another one to put it in the back so it's gonna be pretty sparkly and I'm gonna have sparkly nails so I thought why not just what's the word embrace embrace the sparkles and go all out are you ready for this hold on <laughs> okay remember that this is a backyard barbecue so I'm doing sneakers I did look what I did you guys am I ever gonna wear these again probably not <laughs> I hope I can I don't know what outfits would I wear with this I don't really know um, but they're from DSW they're Betsy Johnson and my mom had a coupon for $30 off so she let me use her coupons I am hype <laughs> okay second prototype done and do you see how much better this fits just by looking at it, even back here, I um, changed, I like rotated this pattern a little bit so it would fit better, so. You see this? This is why we make alterations. Did it look good before? Heck yes, it looked really good. It would have passed as something nice, but now, now this is perfection. Here's the old one. Um, I ripped out like the straps and reused the skirt from the first prototype because we don't need to create more waste, so I just reused some things. But yeah, this also, keep in mind, has a seam allowance still, so it's gonna be half an inch. Look, and this just, oh, the cut is perfect. When you put the rhinestones on this, it is just iconic. So here's the vision, guys. How gorgeous is that gonna be? Oh my gosh, the camera does not do this rhinestone piece justice. And actually, I do need help with something, and please, 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 please comment down below because by the time this video goes live, I'll still have a day left until the engagement party. Um, so if you could help me with this, that'll be great because I will listen to the majority of you guys. So please comment down below. Like I said, I wanna do it in the front here, but also have rhinestones in the back going down the strap and around this opening right here, this low back. Do you think I should stitch it down exactly around the low back, like stitch down? Or do we think I should stop stitching right here where the strap attaches so that it kind of drapes following the curve? Look, like so it drapes like this. So it's like free floating. Draped or stitched down? I think draped, I think, I think. But please let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna leave it open, I'm gonna leave it draped. But if you guys think I should stitch it down, I'll do that really quickly before the party. So help. Anyways, I think that is everything I have for you guys today. Missy, say bye.
Bye. Let me know if you liked this video. Let me know what you think of the shoes I bought as well and what you think of this dress and if maybe I should make any changes. But if you do tell me to make any changes, honestly, to this dress, I probably won't listen, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Anyways, the next video will probably, I think I'm gonna do a pattern for this. I really do. Um, actually, I'm 99% sure I'll do a pattern and tutorial for this. So the next video will probably be a formal tutorial for this dress. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you turn the notification bells on because you know for the first 48 hours after I post the pattern, I have a pretty good discount on it. So make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. Again, I will have the link to basically all of the materials I use in this video down below thanks to share a cart and again thank you so much to share a cart for sponsoring today's video make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it because it is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free also feel free to follow me on instagram and tiktok my handle is kiana bonolo especially if you like want to see like behind the scenes of me like putting on this dress and styling it and wearing it at the engagement party i would love that anyways i think that is everything i have for you today so i love you all so so much i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching this video Bye!